After six weeks on the hard stand here in Langkawi, today we are finally getting back in the water. So it's our last morning here at Reback, so we've come and treated ourselves at the buffet breakfast. Yeah, it's such good Indian. It's so delicious. So good. Yummy. Well, it's splash day. We're getting put back in the water today and um, we're very excited. It's been a long six weeks and um, the Talpa is as good as ready as she's going to be. This time we've done everything that we can afford to do on her for now. I'm so excited. Just go and dive and enjoy some time for the next few weeks. The coat on before we get put back in the water on the top and then we'll paint the bottom when we get lifted up a little bit then we are ready to go we'll be going in any any moment now and they said after 12 so it's now after 12 so we'll just wait till the team is ready to come come and get us the lifts all the way down the end there here it comes it's coming to get us we unplugged the power and the travel lift moved into place. man is going to have to stay hairy a little bit longer. It's go time. The slings were positioned and the ladder and support stands were moved away. Katalpa was rolled back and we were given time to paint the bottom of the keel with Annie Fowl where it was sitting on the block. We got all the missed spots and used up the rest of the paint and we were done. Relieved and proud of what we had achieved. Now let's get her back to where she belongs.
All aboard. So we left the um, marina this morning. We dro got dropped back in and we just left and we've come over to Kua, which was about 10 nautical miles away. So it didn't take us very long, but and we've arrived. Um, we we're just about to drop the anchor and Lee dropped the revs and the motor just completely cut out. <laughs> now it won't start. So probably a good thing we got here. We've dropped the anchor, hopefully we hold. Um, but now we just did all that work <laughs> and now Lee's got to get into the engine bay. Um, it did sound a bit clunky when we left and we, and we were aware of it. Uh, Lee changed the injection tips, is that right? Injector tips. Uh, so he's going to have a look. He hasn't put the new alternator in yet. Could that be a factor? Nah. All right, well, we don't know. Lee's gonna inspect. We're just like, guys, we've just had like six weeks of working our asses off and we were so looking forward to getting back on the ocean and kind of chilling out for a little bit. But anyway. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So Liz just hopped straight into the engine bay, but um, we have motored just now for the last couple of hours and the engine is a little bit warm to be working in. So he's gonna let it cool down and then he's gonna have a look. He's pretty sure it's the one of the injectors is giving him a bit of grief, but he is very, very sweaty <laughs> and he can barely touch anything. So he's gonna wait, which is a bit smart to, um, so it cools down the engine that is this injector here is what the problem is hey babe this little one here have to investigate lily's gonna investigate and make it all better and get it all working because he's got his superman undies on da -da -da -da! guys we're back in business um, I pulled the injector back out and where the injector nozzle goes through a washer that sits on the block I just pretty much cleaned that so I think I had a little I was losing a bit of pressure through it was a little bit of dirt down there or a bit of carbon that may have come out when I removed the first injector so it wasn't a lot but it was probably enough to make I don't know a quarter of a mil gap just to let a bit of pressure out I suppose. So we had a strange knock um, and the reason I knew it was the injector is when I'd loosen the bleed screw on it there would be no difference in the sound of the engine as opposed to the other three cylinders. As soon as I'd loosen the bleed screw um, it start to change the tone of the engine and that one didn't. So I knew which injector it was. It was just a matter of uh, a little bit more cleanliness. And we're away again. That's a bit of a relief. So yeah, here's the where I bleed out the air. So as I'd release this one, the engine had changed tone. This one, same. This one, same. And then when I got to this one, I'd release that and there'd be no change in the sound of tone. So what I gather was the washer inside that these injectors sit on had the slightest bit of carbon under there. And yeah, it was losing pressure and um, giving me a knock and not sounding too good so I clean that back out and it sounds perfect again we're on our way Woo. all right next little one to install is our new alternator it's our new one our old one was only lucky to be given out about eight amps so and it makes a real screeching sound I'm assuming the old one's original and we'll probably just recondition it and put it in the boat as a spare. But we've got a new one. Just got the old one out. And the new one in. Do I ask how it's going? Um, it was going alright. Oh, spent the last half an hour this little shimmer dropped in the bottom. Trying to A, locate it, and then B, get it out. You got it? Yep. Because you're amazing. <sighs> kind of wish we were still there so you could have a nice shower, huh? Yeah. As the sunset, it's pretty magical. So that's our first night on the uh, on anchor again after being on the hard for a long long time it's really nice rocking you get used to being still it took us a really long time for to be used to being still and now we're rocking and it's very nice but the sun's going down Lee and Taj went ashore we had to get some internet and uh, I can't remember what else they were doing. But it is nearly eight o'clock at night. And the sun's just going down now. So we picked up our stickers yesterday, go back on Catalpa. She will be named again. 
at the moment, there is, we are clean skins. <laughs> Stuff has got a name back on. Still don't have the stickers at the bow yet. Because Lee just put those ones on and it was a bit bumpy. So here, wait till it's really calm. It all comes all thanks to you all. So join us next time as we leave Malaysia and see some new places in Thailand.